Okay, so our first task here is to write an equation for the area. Remember that uh, area has a, a pretty specific definition. Let's talk about that definition real quick, just as a reminder. Let's say that this side of the rectangle is 8 and this one is 3. Okay, the area of this rectangle is how many squares fit inside this rectangle. Okay, so along this side we can fit 8 units, right? And on this side we can fit three. Right. right there, what do we see? We see one square. Right? All along here we have two, three, four. We can fit eight squares along the bottom. That's a row of eight. And we have enough room for three of those rows. So how many squares fit inside? Eight times three. That's twenty-four squares can fit inside this rectangle. What about this rectangle? Well, this side is not known, but if it was 3, then 21 could fit inside here. If it was 5, then 35 squares can fit in here. If it was 6, 42 squares could fit inside here. It would just take 7 times this guy right here, right? So the area is equal to 7 times whatever x is, or what we like to call 7x. Er, the area equals 7x. Okay, let's take the perimeter. What does the perimeter mean? It just means if I were to walk around this rectangle and measure the total distance that I walk, how far will I have walked? What's the total distance around this whole thing? Right, so if I just walk along here, I'll have a 7. Along here, I'll have x, so I would add x to that. Walk along there, there's another 7. And along here, there's another x. We could clean that up a bit. We have a 2x. x plus x is 2x. 7 plus 7 is 14. All right. Now, uh, the instructions on your worksheet say that the area and the perimeter are equal to each other. And I don't want you to get confused here. Uh, area and perimeter as units cannot be equal to each other. But the numbers can be equal to each other. Right, so a, a, a rectangle could have a perimeter of 15 and an area of 15, but that would be two different 15s. 115 would be like 15 feet around the outside, and then the other 15 would be 15 squares that fit inside of it. Right? But we could say that 15 equals 15. We just kind of ignore the units, and that's what this thing is saying. If you ignore the units, you just look at the numbers, the perimeter and the area are the same. So, okay, one way of simplifying that is to say in an equation, the area is equal to the perimeter. The numbers are equal to each other. Um, but that doesn't help us solve for x. But you know what? a is equal to 7x. So this could be replaced with 7x. Right? And that's equal to the perimeter. And the perimeter is equal to 2x plus 14. So we could replace p with 2x plus 14. Look at that. We have an equation that can be solved for x. And the catch here is that this equation has x's or variables on both sides. Right? So how do we figure that out? I, I would encourage you to just pause the video for a second. Give that some thought. How would you get it so that x is by itself on one side, the numbers are on the other side, uh, you know, the numbers on the other side telling you what x is? Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and gave that some thought. Let me show you a, a picture of what we're looking at. Right? I'm going to draw tried and true scale here. Okay. So right now the scale is balanced with seven x's on this side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven x's on this side. And on this side we have two x's and fourteen ones. And our job is to figure out how many of these ones is equal to an x, right? Well, what if I just got rid of these two here, right? Then I'd only have these tokens on this side. If I did that, though, and I just did that, then this side would go up because it would be lighter. We don't want that to be, we don't want that to happen, so we'll do the same thing over here. We'll get rid of these two. So I've taken two off of this side and two off of this side, and now it's still balanced. So now what we have is that five x's is equal to 14 units, right? So that looks like in the equation minus 2x, minus 2x, 5x equals 14. Right? And if you had the equation 5x equals 14, what would you do? You would divide both sides by 5. Okay, so x equals 14 over 5, 
which is uh, 2.8, okay? But certainly nothing wrong with leaving it as 14 over 5, okay? So this side is 2.8. I'm sure you like that decimal uh, more than the, the fraction, but uh, there you go. It's 2.8 inches or uh, 2.8 feet, depending on what the units are here, okay? And uh, then we could continue on and find the perimeter and find the area. We could take 2.8 times 7, just like this area formula that we made says. Find the area, and when we add up the perimeter, you should come up with exactly the same number. Of course, those units will be different. The area will be in squares. The perimeter will be in inches or, or feet or, you know, something linear that it's just in a straight line, okay? Like we measure perimeter with these lengths and the area we measure with squares. All right, so that should um, be a big help in getting you through those problems there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.